Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this channel is your one-stop shop for evidence-based answers to your weight questions. So welcome. I am so happy to have you here today. Uh, today I'm gonna be answering a question that I get asked about all the time. Great question, which is, can I skip intervals on my weight medication? So let's say I have a patient who is on Wagovi and they want to go from the 0.5 to the 1.7 milligram dose. Can they just do that instead of stopping at the one milligram dose in the middle? And as a refresher, just to set the scene, um, the dosing schedule for Wagovi, which is also known as semaglutide, is you start at 0.25 milligrams uh, and then every four weeks you bump it up. So 0.25 to 0.5 to one milligram to 1.7 milligrams and then the maximum dose is 2.4 milligrams. Uh, so somebody might wonder, hey, I've had great results on the 0.5 milligram dose. Can I just skip the one and go right to the 1.7? And I would say in general, that's not a great idea because Really, these medications are geared to go up slowly to let your body really adjust to uh, the new medication. So in the same way that we really wouldn't have somebody who's on, you know, 10 milligrams of Prozac, you're not really going to jump to the 50 milligram dose. That's going to be really uncomfortable for somebody in terms of side effects. Um, it's really a good idea to stay on the um, prescribed dosing schedule. Now, that said, there is a slight difference between Wagovi, which is FDA approved for weight loss, and Ozempic, which is FDA approved for diabetes. Now, it's the same medication, but the dosing schedule for Ozempic is a little bit different. So it also starts at 0.25 milligrams, goes to 0.5 milligrams, goes to one milligram, then goes all the way to two milligrams. So it goes one to two, there's no 1.7 milligram dose, and the maximum dose of Ozempic is two milligrams even. So there is a bit of a, a more of a jump uh, for patients who are on Ozempic, and I've definitely heard that from patients like, whoa, when I went to, you know, the two milligram dose had a lot more side effects. Uh, some people just, they, are tolerating the medication very well. It doesn't make as much of a difference for them. So if given the choice, um, all things being equal, I will always opt for Wagovi over Ozempic because it's the same medication, but the dosing schedule is a little gentler. Um, so there's just, it's just a bit easier for patients to adapt to. And also the maximum dose is a little bit higher. Now, for patients who, you know, they really want to get to the maximum dose as quickly as possible, they could always try something like liraglutide, which is also known as Sexenda. Um, it doesn't work quite as well as semaglutide, so usually it's not my go-to pick, but you can get from the starting dose to the maximum dose of Sexenda in about five weeks. Um, versus several months for Wagovi. Uh, the other nice thing I like about Wagovi is when you have that, you know, longer period, um, you do find, or I do find that, you know, some people um, really benefit from going even slower. You know, some people, maybe they need two months at the 0.5 dose and then they're more comfortable as they go up. Uh, again, some people just do the dosing schedule and have no issues whatsoever, but I do find that sometimes um, going up even slower than the recommended dosing schedule can be very beneficial for people and can make it a little bit easier um, to increase the dose. And it just takes a little bit more time, but in the scheme of things, if it's overall working well for them, um, usually that's something that uh, we decide is a good idea. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Tell somebody you think might be interested about this uh, content. Uh, and as always, please be well.